All right, here is a parallelogram, and we have this red line going across the uh, parallelogram. And what we're looking for is a base and a height. And we have to remember that the base and the height are always perpendicular. That's at 90 degrees to each other. And here, so I'm just going to rotate this shape. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the rotating button. And then I'm going to rotate it like that. Okay, I'm rotating it so my red line, which is my height, is perpendicular to the base, okay, at 90 degrees to the base. So I've made my red line vertical, okay, and that makes the 13.1 the base. And now it's easy to see. Rotated, not so easy to see, okay, and also if you rotate it in some directions, uh, you can get one dimension covering up the other dimension. So most of the time, you're going to have to rotate the shape, okay. So in this case, um, you can rotate it. You can also resize it, all right. So here's the resizing button over here and you drag it away, there's a little tiny plus sign. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but if you drag it away from the plus sign, it gets bigger. If you drag it towards the plus sign, it gets smaller. Okay, so I'm just dragging it like that, so it gets a bit larger. All right, I'm gonna turn that off, so now I can just drag it to wherever I want. So that's the shape, okay? And you notice the red line is the height, and that is perpendicular to the base, which is the 13.1. All right, let's go and find out, let's go and figure out our area. All right, we want to, want to find the area of the parallelogram, and the formula for the area is base times height. Is base times the height. Now the base is the 13.1. Notice it's perpendicular, so this is the base. And that's perpendicular to the height. All right, so here's your height. All right, and they are at 90 degrees. This symbol here means 90 degrees. Okay. And like that. Okay, so that tells us that the base is 13.1 decameters. And the height is 17 decameters. So the base times the height is going to be 13.1 times 17. Okay, so it's handy dandy calculator time. So 13.1 times 17. So that gives us 222.7. 222.7. Now the units are decameters, so decameters squared, okay, don't forget the squared. All right, so back to our program, so 222.7 decameters squared. So 222.7 uh, decameters squared. And there we go. Let's do this one as well. So for this one, um, I'm going to rotate it so the base and the height are perpendicular again. Okay, so I'm making my height vertical. And I'm going to just uh, enlarge this a bit. So I click on the enlarging tool and drag it away from that little plus sign, and there we go. All right, so once again, to find the area of the parallelogram, we're going to use the formula area is equal to base times the height. And the base, in this case, is 11.6 decimeters. And the height is 30 decimeters. Okay, and so, handy dandy calculator time again. And that's 348. So 348 decimeters 
squared. Okay, so let's go back to our program and enter that. Three hundred forty-eight decimeters squared. Power two button. Okay, and then enter. And there we go. And that's how you find the area of a parallelogram. Have a good day.